So what did they find? Well, for every 1,000 hyperthyroid patients treated, the author said that could, they could attribute between 19 to 32 excess cancer deaths from solid cancers, including breast cancer, and 75% or more of these deaths would be greater than 20 years uh, after treatment. Here are some of the results figures where on the Y axis of these graphs, you have relative risk and on the X axis, you have the absorbed dose of radiation. And what you can see is first on the left for all solid uh, cancers, the dose response is going up and to the right. For breast cancer, again, up and to the right. And for all solid cancer dose response, excluding breast, again, up and to the right. And this reached statistical significance. So a little scary. I think those of you who treat uh, patients probably wouldn't want to say, hey, we're treating your Graves' disease. And one of the things you worry about is for every thousand of you that I'm going to treat, I'm going to kill 19 to 32 of you from breast cancer. Now, obviously, no one's going to say it that way. But um, frankly, that's how it was taken by the nuclear medicine.